Welcome to the gentlemen, how's it going guys? My name is CK and today my friends, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can create the AK-12 RIP from Advanced Warfare and bring it into Black Ops 3. Now, of course, we cannot actually change the physical version of that gun, but we can make it feel like we are using that gun when it comes to like damage, its fire rate, its accuracy, you know, and all that kind of good stuff. So, with that being said, let's jump straight into it and let's show you guys how you guys can create the AK-12. So, with that being said, we need to pick up a gun that is kind of similar to the damage output of the AK-12. And that is the Man of War, just because the Man of War has 11, the AK-12 RIP has 11 damage. Now, what we need to do is we need to get the accuracy up as well on this weapon. So, you know, as you guys can see, you know, we need to get the same damage and same accuracy. And with that being said, just chuck on the grip. You know, it's just very, very simple that way. Now, the next one is we need to get more range on the weapon. So, long barrel is definitely going to help with that. But as you guys can see, we need to get one more extra range. And what normally happens in Advanced Warfare you normally have more accuracy with minus range. So with that being said, we are going to chuck on the quick draw just because obviously in Advanced Warfare, you have two plus in accuracy. They always take away one minus range if you guys have a look at previous variants. Now, so that makes this weapon be like an, an Advanced Warfare weapon. If this gun was in Advanced Warfare, I think it would absolutely smash people. So with that being said, let's waste no more time and let's jump straight to a game. Alright guys, here we go. Alright man, so I'm chucking on the, the gold camera on this weapon just because of course you're gonna have the gold camera on the weapon. Like, the AK-12 RIP has like a sort of looking like a gold camera, so you know, we gotta... We gotta have the gold camera on this weapon, and this guy just dropped up there. I heard this dude. There he is. There is the third dude. Okay, we're back in it, my friends. We're back in it. Aw, oh, crap. He ran away. Alright, there we go. We got another person down. I think I need to pick up like a scavenger pack or something. Um, I think... Oh, I don't have scavenger pack on this class. God damn it, man. That's by bull nuts. But as you guys can see, man, it's absolutely melting people. Like even... I need probably need to pick up this weapon. Why not? Okay, I just saw this guy run. Where, where is that guy? Where you guys? Where are you running, my friend? Just come back. I hope some person like uses like the man of war that I can pick up their man of war and start using it. Okay, one guy's just... Oh, damn, I screwed up with accuracy a little bit. But that's good, man. It's good that we actually did die there just because, you know, then we can actually just, you know, use this gun again and all that kind of stuff. So... Oh, there's another dude. All right, there we go. Melted him. Absolutely nice. Nice. Oh, God. Okay, that guy has an air mate. Don't mess with that air mate. Okay, I can hear a guy running. Oh, that guy nearly melted me. Holy crap. Alright, there we go. I think I get that kill after my combat focus is done. Alright, man. That's absolutely bloody beautiful. Okay, so we're just going to run to the opposite side of the map and just hopefully we can just pick up anybody by surprise. Alright, there we go. Pick up that guy with the sniper rifle. Awesome. I can hear this dude coming my way. That was a pretty obvious little play right there. And I got sniped, man. It's absolutely awesome. But there's only three people in the lobby, so it's going to make it like a really, really slow game. It's really unfortunate, though. Alright, uh, there we go. Get that guy camping up in there. A little, a little house, man. There we go. Pick up that guy because he's an absolute noob with the M8. And pick you up again. Thank you, buddy. Oh my god, I missed. Oh, I thought I could get that guy, man. I thought I could just go for a cheeky snipe. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, that guy was up in that house, man. I did not know what he was going to do, though. That was just like really, really freaking scary moment right there. Oh my god, that was a cheeky snipe. Oh, please. I just wrecked that dude. <laughs> right, there we go. Pick up that dude. Nice and easy right there. Why the hell not, man? He doesn't have freaking dead silence. So I, I can easily just take advantage of that pretty much. That's, you know, that's what happens. Okay, this guy's still using the M8. So I, I thought this guy would actually snipe, man. Normally when it comes like the 1v1s inside this game, they normally do snipe, but it doesn't really seem to be the case, though. Oh, I saw you, buddy. Oh, snap. Man, I can't not use the M8. As you guys can see right there, I can't use the M8, and this guy can, and pretty much all that kind of stuff. But the freaking... As you guys can see, if I use the Man of War compared to his buddy M8, man, I bloody win all the gunfights. So, it's freaking one of those kind of things. Alright, guys, man, it's freaking 30 seconds. Last freaking gunfight wins. And there you go, my friends. Freaking, as you guys can see, super accurate, super freaking deadly. An amazing freaking weapon right there. 
But anyways, guys, man, that is at the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, make sure to smack that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. As you guys can see right there, Man of War smashes the M8. You guys just see me struggle using the M8, man. I got two bursts into him. I would have killed that guy faster with the Man of War. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Remember to stay true, and see ya.